Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. This is your weekly tarot reading. Please keep in mind that the message is a general, so they may not ne necessarily resonate with everyone watching. That's okay. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Let's begin. Okay, some very interesting cards. You've got a few major arcana cards here, which do bring in some very powerful messages. Right now, I feel like it's so important for you to really trust the process, okay? I feel like the your guides want you to be patient. They want you to trust the process and they want you to be patient um, with yourself and with the situation. Uh, there's a need for you to let go of control. Okay, you need to let go of control. Sometimes things, a lot of the times, things just happen. They are out of your control. They are beyond your control. Okay, and you cannot control how someone feels or how someone acts towards you or, you know, towards a certain situation. What you can control is how you react to it, okay? How you react and your emotions is what you can control. And right now, you need to surrender some sort of form of control and you need to learn to trust a little bit more is what I'm picking up. So trust in yourself, trust in the universe, and also trust, especially if you're connected with someone romantically, you need to be able to trust this person a little bit more okay you need to be able to be a little bit more yeah a little bit more open a little bit a little bit more trusting as well um you guys are ruled by air energy right and with air you like to um you like to intellectualize your emotions you like to be able to understand the mechanics behind what it is that you're feeling but right now you need to especially with the queen of cups energy you need to sort of you know when this appears when she appears rather you need to trust in your emotions and tap into your emotions and your intuitions to find answers so if some of you have been trying if you've been asking a lot of questions or if you've been wanting to you know the answers to some of your questions in it means what the queen of cups is you know telling us is that you need to tap into your intuitions because the answers already lie within so you already know what the answer is the answers are within you you just need to tap into you know your intuition and your emotions if you're going through some things right now, if some of you are in a no contact, no communication, if you're fighting, if there's friction, tension, conflict with you and a connecting energy, whether it's romantic, business, professional, you know, whether it's a friend, you need to be able to, you know, I think it's important that whatever it is that you're going through right now, because I think that this tension is important because this tension has been bubbling like it may have only recently come to the surface but this tension has been it's kind of been present in the energies for a long time and you need to like emotions are running high there's some sort of challenging situation where emotions are running very high on your end and on this person's end right especially emotions are running high in the energies and um i feel like in order for you to find a peaceful resolution you, you need to let go okay you and the connecting energy i feel like there's something here that you need to let go of and tap into again once again tap into your intuition trust your gut there's 
feel like there's something here that you're fighting or there's someone that you're fighting with or i don't know there's just some sort of tension and in order for you to reach peace with this person or in order for you to work out through things with it like to work out through some things with this person you need to learn to trust your gut a little bit more okay trust your gut and um And just kind of surrender to the situation. I don't know. It just feels like there's a lot of emotions here. And get it all out. Get those emotions out. Like those emotions need to pass through you. So if there's something here that's like bothering you, you need to let this person know. Okay? If there's something here that's on your mind, you need to vocalize that. You need to speak up. If there's been some tension, if you've felt some friction and some tension between you and an you know, and a connecting energy here, you need to put that out in the open. I know it's a bit of a difficult time some of you are going through because I feel like th this situation that you're going through, and when I say tension, look, or conflict, it doesn't, for some of you, yes, it, it could, you know, very well mean that, like you and someone are fighting here, okay? You might be in no contact, no communication, but there's just something here that's happened where emotions are running rampant all over the place and you guys are no longer speaking to each other but you've not worked through any issues like you haven't worked through those problems uh, for others you know there may have been some challenging conversations some you know voices have been raised arguments have been made and there's a lot of tension here and there can be more than just you and this person it feels like there may be a few energies involved or if you know, there's a few people around you here who have their opinions over what's happening between you and this person. Anyways, there's a situation here where I feel like it needs healing and it needs peace. Okay? But I honestly feel like you have to get it out there. I feel like you need to feel it to heal it. Because if something's bothering you, like there's no point in going back to an environment or to a person or to a thing that's you know that broke you or there's no point going back to something that disturbs your energy or disturbs your peace and whatever this is that i see for you it's disturbing your peace so if there if for example if an interaction with a certain person is leaving you feeling not positive Okay, if you don't necessarily, if you feel like exhausted, drained, if you feel like, you know, your energy becomes off whenever you interact with a certain person, it doesn't matter whether it's a, you know, a romantic energy or a friend or just a connecting energy, whoever this is, like, there's something about this person's energy that is disturbing your inner peace or is disturbing your energy okay and energy doesn't lie now i don't want you to interpret that to take it to mean that this person is an emotional vampire i mean they could be I, I don't know you'll have to you know you'll have to judge yourself depending on you know your symptoms but it could mean that you know there's just something about this person it doesn't necessarily make them a bad person but there's just something about the en their energy especially their energy right now that's disturbing yours now, their energy could be off right now, okay? They may be going through some things which have next to nothing to do with you. But because they're going through some things, they may be projecting and they may be taking out on you, okay? Now, they may not want to sit down and have a mature conversation and, you know, sort out through things because their energy is a little off and they're transferring their off energy onto you or onto this relationship, if that makes sense. So, yeah, there's something here that, and I think, like, your energy is getting disturbed by someone else's or by a certain situation and that's good it's good because it's not it's not good that it's disturbing your inner peace or it's disturbing your energy that's not the part that's good what's good is that you're able to recognize that okay you're able to recognize that hey you know this situation is disturbing your inner peace and it needs peace this situation needs peace. This relationship needs peace. This situation needs healing. This relationship needs healing. Okay? So it's good that, you know, it's it's hitting some stuff inside of you. The reason why it's hitting some stuff inside of you, the reason why it's disturbing your energy is that because 
you could be holding on to feelings like old resentments and old feelings about this person okay or this person may be emotionally triggering you in some way or there's something that this person may be saying or doing without necessarily being aware of it that could be triggering you so that's why i feel like even this person might not have anything to do with whatever it is that's triggering you deep down inside i think it's good that they're able to trigger you because if you're still being triggered by a certain feeling or a certain person or a certain situation it means that there's still healing that needs to take place and that's what's good about it because it's an opportunity for you to take a look at you know for you to do some shadow work it's an opportunity for, to, for you to take a look at what just what or you know who in your life needs the peace and needs healing because notice how you've got the sun it's appeared twice here it wraps like a halo around the hangman's head it's providing illuminance right now the sun is providing no it's appeared three times i tell a lie it's uh it, the sun appears in the death card as well it's providing illuminance on like a darker aspect of your personality or a darker aspect of someone else's personality or like a darker aspect of a relationship or a situation okay so it's it's like a torch right think of it like a torch and you're shining light onto things that need healing okay maybe emotional wounds that need healing maybe those emotional wounds have never properly healed and they're, they're festering and they're you know they're bleeding over this relationship or they're bleeding over this you know friendship or this situation okay so it's like yeah there's some there's a light being shown here onto something that needs fixing onto something that needs healing and you're growing i feel like healing is uh, a theme is a key word for you here because you're growing through whatever it is that you're going through right now okay it's uh it's like a it's an emotional healing or there's a spiritual awakening that is taking place in your energy and in order for you to grow and heal through it you need to respond and by responding i feel like you need to surrender to the situation so that you can find the peace or you can find the healing You do think you do see the situation very differently to how the other person is viewing the situation so if you are romantically connected to someone or if this is like you know a connecting energy i feel like you see things very differently you have the ability to see things from a different angle because i feel like you know you may be someone who has a lot of empathy for other people and so there's just something here that tells me that yeah you see things very differently and to to this person or you see or even to people around you and i feel like right now may feel like a very strange time because you it's like you either have access to more information or you just have more perspective the other the other thing that i want to say here guys i feel like i mentioned this in an earlier reading but this because you see things differently you have a different perspective or you have an advantage here you know whether you have access to an information or you're just someone who is more considerate and you know someone who shows more empathy i feel like maybe you've tried to explain to the to this other person how their actions are affecting you okay and what kind of effect you know their actions have on you and have on the situation and this person you know is taking that as an attack as a personal attack on them as a personal attack on their energy as a personal attack and like an assassination on their character okay they've they've completely they're being completely dramatic about this the reason they're being so dramatic about this is because people only really understand from their level of perception okay and your level and their level are very different you're at different levels of perception here 
so they're not able to see things i don't know it can be frustrating it can be very frustrating you know they're not able to see things from your point of view they're not able to see things from your perspective or they're not even able to see things maybe how they really are okay and yeah very frustrating right but you have to be patient you have to be patient and you have to understand that there are some people because they're not willing to take accountability for their actions and their behaviors okay they will make excuses and that's why whenever you come to them with the truth whenever you come to them with openness and transparency they will see it as an attack they will see it as an attack on their character or they'll view it as a personal attack when that's not at all you know what you're intended to be but just understand that yeah people will only understand from their level of perception and notice how you know there's a lot happening here and notice how the ground is uneven okay and even the wands they're not evenly distributed there's a lot of energies involved here and i just feel like maybe you guys you know you don't all see things the same way maybe you don't all feel the same way about you know each other about a situation here but there's something that definitely something about how you perceive this to be how you either you're finally perceiving this person for who they really are you're finally perceiving the situation for what it really is and not for what you want it to be maybe like you were romanticizing this person or the situation earlier and now you're finally seeing the truth there's definitely something here about you and your perception of someone or something that is very um revealing right okay guys i'm going to leave it at that thanks for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing and thank you for your time and your energy your attention bye for now